Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to their Call of Duty World War II video. And today's video I think is really gonna be a delightful one for you guys here. Talking about what I believe now is the best gun in the game. These DLC weapons just keep getting better and better and better in this game. And the ITRA burst, I was sort of on the fence about this weapon at first, but this weapon, if you're a good player and you're accurate, it doesn't get better than this. I absolutely love this gun. I've been leveling it up, of course, since I got it from, um, you know, from, uh, actually, I, I think I purchased it. No, I got this one from a supply drop and I purchased the other ones from collections. Anyway, smack a like on this video. It'll be absolutely sensational. If we could get hit 52 likes, that'd be amazing. Smack that like button. I would really appreciate it that subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and let's talk about it itra burst first of all get this weapon in the game i believe this is the best weapon in the game right now and if it's not the best because it works it, it depends on your aim if you're very accurate it doesn't get better than this gun but i definitely think it is top three overall and for me personally i'm thinking it's number one in the game right now now first of all get this weapon out of collections out of supply drops however you have to get it i 100 think it is worth it and probably most of you guys already have this weapon this gun is absolutely amazing basically it's a burst weapon reminds me a lot of the m8 i would say from black ops 3 that's his biggest comparison that weapon was one that was like a godlike weapon in that game for so long and the key with this weapon is if you hit the whole burst it is a one shot kill i guess not one shot because it's the full burst but you know what i mean it's a one burst kill if you hit the full burst now hitting the full burst is very easy on enemies that are running in a straight line standing still etc things like that full burst to the chest will kill them now on enemies who are running around moving around up close and personal it can take two to three bursts till you hit enough bullets to kill them and that's why this weapon really really succeeds at a medium to long distance i mean on a map like flak tower it kind of is a close quarters map. How I played it is you see I keep my distance around the middle area. And when I really get in trouble in this gameplay is when I start, you know, when the enemies push me or when I start to push the enemies. That's when I really get in trouble. This weapon is made for medium to long range. And that's why when I first used it on shipment, I recognized it was a good weapon. I didn't recognize how good it is. It's a one burst. It can be a two burst if you miss some shots. It can even be a three burst if your accuracy is all over the place and the enemies are moving. Hit them with that full burst in the chest and you will be amazed. Let's talk about to class up for this beautiful weapon first of all armor division i'm going with the armor division it really does help you with this gun don't worry about nades don't worry about stuns and also another key with this gun is the armor division what it supplies for you in terms of the actual reduced flinch is huge because reduced flinch allows you to connect with just that one extra bullet from that burst can be the difference between weakening them down to like 20 percent health and finishing off the kill absolutely huge and the last perk that comes with armor division the fmj to wall bang is huge and i use that in this gameplay as well when people are hiding behind cover up in the window on flak tower maybe behind you know different things on, on maps where you're going to want to use this gun and speaking of maps where you're going to want to use this one uh, uh Ardenus forest uh what else flak tower Gibraltar, any maps that have a good distance in them, I say even Gustav Cannon, Ground War, this weapon can absolutely slay. This is your longer range weapon and make sure that you're accurate with it. So, Armor Division honestly is perfect for this weapon and it works absolutely amazing. Now, the only bad thing about taking Armor Division over the second choice which would be infantry is you don't have that strafe speed and i've experimented a lot with this weapon tried using it without extra strafe speed it's just not the same gun you need that extra strafe speed to connect all of those bullets and to strafe make people miss their shots on you while you connect shots on them because you want to always be aimed down sights and pre-aiming with this gun and that's why for my basic training i run scopes now what scope does is it's basically like a stock attachment from other games unfortunately St stock in this game isn't just a normal attachment you actually have to use a basic training so i run scope for that it is very very helpful and having the ability to strafe it is worth it even though you have to give up your basic training slot and you can't run other cool things like clandestine or uh, blitzkrieg or something like that I still think it is 100% worth it. Running that scope is absolutely huge to this class up in my opinion. Next thing is you want to have a good secondary. Now, secondary I pretty much always use is either you want to use one of the new DLC pistols because those are pretty strong 
or if you don't have those, stick with that uh, machine pistol, extended mags. You really won't have to use it that often, but close range, if you're smart, you're going to want to use that machine pistol extended mags. It's just going to do better than this weapon does uh, up close and personal. Now this weapon, of course, is amazing at medium to long range, up close and personal, hip firing, it struggles. And of course, it's still like one of the best guns in the game. That's not what it's made for. So don't play it for that. But if you find yourself in a situation where you have to win a close quarters gunfight, you hear an enemy coming, whip out that machine pistol, do the work with that. Next thing, and probably the most important part of this class setup, is the three attachments that I choose to use on this weapon. First one, you can see it on the screen, a red dot sight, reflex sight, and I also use a custom reticle. I believe I talked about this a little bit in my last video. Custom reticles are absolutely key. Ever since they've been introduced, before then you would have to use that default fat circle within a circle until you leveled up the, the reticle, until you leveled it up enough to get a spec or a red dot. Nowadays, if you've opened supply drops, uh, like myself, I've opened a good amount of supply drops in this game and of course if you play the game you earn supply drops it doesn't mean you have to buy them you probably have a bunch of custom reticles available when you go and hover over reticle look through them pick one that's good one thing i would say with the custom reticles is it does appear that they look a lot bigger uh, in the menu than they actually are in the game. They are kind of small. I like this red circle. It literally reminds me of a red dot. It is red. It's easy to see on the screen. And I honestly think that this is a major key with this one. If you like the star, if you like the cross, there's a bunch of different options. Experiment with that until you find one that you're comfortable with. Everyone is going to like different things. And that's one thing that is, was added to this game. And the customizability of that is awesome. Now, we have the red dot. Next attachment is going to be extended mags. Now, extended mags on this gun, you think because of a burst weapon, you won't be running out of ammo. And that is true, but having that 48 bullets is such a major key because the reload time on this gun, it's a slow one. It's the opposite of the Sterling DLC weapon, which is a faster reload. This one is a slower reload gun. And I think that's something they did to try to basically hold it back because they knew how good this gun was before they put it out, obviously. But hey, you can just exploit that or go past that with extended mags you have 48 bullets and essentially you know four round burst you're never really going to be running out of ammo you might have to reload if you're on a streak a couple times most lives you probably won't even have to reload maybe once or twice so i really do think that is a major key and as far as my third attachment the beauty of this weapon you don't need a grip there's no recoil you don't need a quick draw because you're trying to pre-aim with scoped and armor division and it's an ar distance so rapid fire why not less time in between burst and so in the occasion where you don't get that one burst kill your two kill your your two burst or your three burst kill can come a lot faster and i really do think that is a major key with this weapon as well overall the class up is absolutely amazing with this gun and something that i really do enjoy i have i believe the epic version of this one the femme fatale but it doesn't really ha matter what variant you have because you're going to be running a red dot anyway and i think that is a major key that's the overall class up armored scoped uh, itra burst red dot custom reticle extended mags grip with a machine pistol secondary i also run a semtex and a stun grenade or a british n69 which is technically a stun grenade and the n74 st technically a semtex grenade anyway thanks for watching today's video if you guys could drop a like on this video i would absolutely appreciate that this class up is amazing i'll leave you guys with the end of this gameplay if you guys want to watch the end of it go and use this class up get this gun do what you have to do this gun is amazing thanks for watching smack the like on this video and if you guys already have this gun uh, use it and use this class up it's worth leveling up you will not be disappointed if you are accurate and you can get those run burst kills this weapon will surprise you with its power thanks for watching drop a like sub for cookie don't looky and have a great night and i'm out peace